You know, I've been driving these three quarter day trips since 1998. So I, I have seen firsthand, uh, you know, Spectra come out where just a few guys were using it. It was real technique specific. And now I've seen, you know, the whole just boom of, of Spectra line. And it definitely has its place. It definitely has its strengths. If you're going down on a 15 day trip to catch a yellowfin tuna over 200 pounds, you definitely need it. If you're gonna fish deep water rock cod and you, you can't handle the stretch of the mono, you definitely need it. If you're gonna be fishing around kelp beds, you definitely need the braided line. For most of what we do on a local sport fishing boat, it has done more harm than good. And, and I know that might sound like a surprise to some people, but we have seen it firsthand on, on these boats. And the main thing is the, the Spectra line just has way less room for error in all aspects of fishing. Now we see these guys that are they're coming out, they've never fished before, they have a reel topped off with Spectra, and they spend the first two hours of the trip on the upper deck trying to learn how to tie the connection knot that they saw in a magazine. You know, when you hook a fish on a line that has zero stretch, that fish has to be hooked perfectly in order to land it. If you were on a small boat, which is you and your buddy, if a 20-foot skiff rolls up on a swell, that's not the end of the world. You're, that's not that much weight. You could probably still keep the hook in the mouth of a fish. When this boat, this 50-ton boat, rolls up on a six-foot swell, if your fish isn't hooked perfectly in the, in the hard spot of the mouth, it's gonna rip the hook out. Whereas with mono and a fiberglass rod, it's really hard to lose a fish with, with 20 feet of stretch involved. So there's just way more room for error with mono. I would recommend, same thing as starting with an eight foot rod, I would recommend starting out fishing with monofilament. Get completely comfortable with monofilament. Then if you decide after five or eight years you wanna step it up to braided line, because there's definitely some advantages to braided line, but you need to master monofilament first before you try it. You're just asking for a, a non-enjoyable day is, is what it comes down to. And that's another thing. If, if you are going to fish with Spectraline with a really short top shot, you then have to change all of your tackle. You need to go to a really forgiving rod. You need to have your drag set a little bit looser. So it, it just involves a few more steps where where you don't need that with mono. You know, the mono is gonna compensate for a lot of errors that, that the angler does. If you're fishing with Spectra and you don't put your line back on your reel perfectly, yeah. your next cast is done. And that could have been the cast that made your day. The yellowtail could have been boiling right in front of you. And since you didn't put your line back on your reel perfectly, the cast before, now you miss your opportunity of going home with a 20 pound yellowtail. So just way less room for error with the Spectra line. Once you get the mono uh, dialed in, you feel very confident with mono, then work your way up to the spectrum. At Shimano, we're, we're anglers, right? We, we love fishing and we love taking fishing to the nth degree and we always geek out about everything. You know, years ago, Shimano bought PowerPro fishing line. And so we're trying to evolve this, you know, no stretch line into today's tackle. And what we're finding out is exactly what Ryan was talking about, Ooh, oh, where oh, oh, there is no lost stretch, it. there's no rubber band in the equation. So we needed to come up with, you know, rods or something in the equation to compensate for stretch. And so by having the, the, the Therese rods and the Travala rods, it goes exactly with what Ryan was saying. It compensates for that no stretch in the line. Guys at the beginning, like, didn't understand the whole concept. <laughs> have, have you seen that pole he's using? It's a whip. It's a powerhouse, man. <laughs> so, how do you like that rod? Pretty sick. Yeah, you like it? I do. Just mellow pulling on this one. It seems to be working out pretty damn good. Is that the first Terez you fished on a big tuna? First Terez on a big tuna ever. <laughs> I, I can't pull hard enough on that fish. The rod doesn't load up, and I, I can't do all these things. Well, no, the, the rod's doing its job. You're putting a, an extreme amount of pressure on that fish at all times. But the cool part about a rod that is bendy like that is it's easier on the body, right? So the, there's no pushback. So the rod bending further towards your hand, the more control you have and the less fatigue. And that's why we came up with the Therese series of rods was built specifically for the guy that wants to fish nothing but braided line with a very short top shot. That's why that rod is so parabolic, is that is the compensator in the equation. <laughs>